Hi guys, today we talk about neoprene, that beautiful polymer which everybody knows for dry suits and scuba diving suits. Neoprene is used also as home accessories including laptop sleeves, tablet holders and also for elastomeric bridge bearings. Lately in fashion this polymer has been rediscovered, that's why you will find more and more sweatshirts, leggings and garments in general in neoprene. Also in fast fashion neoprene is exploding. But what is neoprene and why is it used for fashion and technical garments? And most importantly why neoprene is always in the description of the garments but never on care label? Because neoprene is not even a fiber but let's see more in detail. Neoprene is an elastic rubber, also known as polychloroprene. This polymeric rubber has been discovered in the 30s by DuPont. In those years also nylon was discovered as an alternative to natural rubber. This polymer is nowadays limestone based. It often comes in the form of a spongy, elastic and waterproof material with a closed cell structure that traps air, contributing to thermal insulation. Why is it used in textiles? Reasons are many. Thermal insulation, perfect for diving in cold waters, impermeability, it's comfort and elastic, it's resistant, has a modern appearance, that's why it's appreciated for streetwear and fashion. Neoprene is not a fiber per se, in fact if we take a look at the European regulation of textile fibers, there is no neoprene. There is Kevlar though, which is a strong aramid fiber. The reason is because neoprene cannot be spun, or at least we have tried to spin this polymer but the results are not good. The polymer is not stable and actually it's a rubber, a foamy rubber. There are no neoprene yarns around if we want to purchase a yarn cone or two. Neoprene polymer in fact is used as a foamy coating to cover a yarn or one side of a technical fabric with a polyester elastan base or polyamide base, or why not, to cover both sides of a fabric as a sandwich. The fabric used as a base can be knitted or woven depends on the needs. Normally only one side is coated since neoprene actually covers a lot and it's very elastic and synthetic. So actually if you don't want to die of suffocation one side of neoprene is enough. Also if we take a look at our favorite neoprene sweatshirts or our favorite neoprene leggings to look cool with our friends we will see that they are made of 100% cotton or 100% nylon but the hand is super rubbery and slick so it's neoprene coated. Neoprene also grants a tech wear appearance and gives also elasticity to the garment as a cool sensation if you touch it. The only problem is breathability so please avoid neoprene jackets and sweatshirts during summer if you are not diving. That's it for today guys, hope you enjoyed the content of this video, you will find my details below along with my email, reddit and so on. If you need any textile help, I am at disposal naturally, make sure to subscribe to the channel and always remember that as long as we have fabrics there will always be a story to tell. Last but not least I would like to thank all the small donations that I receive every now and then and all the emails that you write me each week, much appreciated guys. That's all for today, I hope to see you guys in the next video.